I, I'm a, I've, a, I've been a, a major free market believer, but now having done what I'm doing for the last five years, it is very clear that private sector needs government, needs a public sector, and vice versa. That especially in developing countries where government is still a major player and a large part of the economy, some things must be initiated by government. Some things that perhaps in more traditionally, in more mature economies would be private sector. Uh, industry. So if we were, we were looking at technology, for instance, if we want to go into more advanced technology, into a more advanced manufacturing, steel, um, government has to actually drive that and play a very major role. Uh, if we want to go into what Brazil did with their airplanes, uh, you know, come, you know an, a developing country becoming a major player in the airplane industry, you need government to drive that. It's very difficult for a private sector player in Kenya, given the size of the economy, um, to be able to do that. So our industrial policy, I think, um, is going to move towards having government as a major player in business, but government practicing free market liberal policies, which obviously, uh, which, which some time back that was meant, was thought to be mutually exclusive. You could have government and free market at the same time. But I think now the world is realizing you have to do that. Americans have to do that. Europe has had to do that. And clearly, the East, East the, the Asian nations taught us that. Many of them were planned economies, which eventually became vibrant free market economies with huge industries. I mean, Korea with Samsung and LG um, and, all the, and, and the vehicle industry, all this coming from government, but today, major private sector players.